kick. A word of warning there for Zach Bailey about handing the ball back to the umpire, Bailey Dale. That was really strong play, and he had enough poise to flick it out to Hunter. Running back with the ball here, Bailey Smith. He's going to be too quick for Darcy Gardner. He's got a short one on the Shacky in the pocket. It was ill-directed. Shacky's trapped it in turn and scored from there. And the ball knocks it in the front. Shacky kicked a massive goal. I felt like Harris Andrews had him covered then, but... Yeah. Well, this is the play right here. Dane Zorgo couldn't quite stick the tackle and the doggies are out. And then once they get out, we spoke before the game about the Lions defenders wanting to play in front. You can see Harris Andrews. It's like a 10-metre leg rope right there. Needs to come right back a little bit, be a little closer to Josh Shackey. And he just gets that easy goal over the back. The pressure around the contest. McInerney slapped it forward, but it was Bailey Dale. Bailey Dale, the Australian. Goes out to Hunter. Hunter now the number seven on the left foot. He sticks it out Smith. in front of Smith. One of the Baileys, another one of the Baileys. And off goes Smith. He decides what target he's going to take. And that's going to be into the pocket of Shaky. Shaky on the left. Around the corner. He's kicked it. Yeah, it, all, it looked too easy, Darrell. I was going to say, he made it look easy. He there. made it look easy, Shaky. The yeah. former Brisbane player. No space. He's no real space. Caught up in the boundary. Got to go over the point post line. He sneaks around, takes two steps. Really, how do you get two steps? Josh Shackey, former Brisbane listed player, and he's put it. He's put the dogs in front by two points. McInerney in English again. McInerney slaps it forward about 12 metres. Taken by Dale. He tucks it under the arm. Can he hit a target on the way out? Instead, decides to handle. Taken on the bounce by Hunter. Hunter on the outside of his left boot. Kicks into space at half forward. Smith to run onto it. It's Bailey for the Bulldogs. 52 from. Goal, lower the vision to the pocket. It was allowed to bounce by Shacky. Shacky, though, was able to snap the goal. Nobody came at him from the defensive side, and he was able to put the dogs back in front. And the former line, I'll tell you what, will enjoy that. Breakdown in the Brisbane defensive setup. The ball was allowed to get over the back. Nobody rotated to him to stop him being able to take it. And just he strolled into a goal. The footy again. That, that was quite a strange run, King. You're right, no one went at him, but he was so close to goal, he was able to just turn around and yeah. kick it from about three or four metres. Uh, really good run from the Bulldogs, and we thought they might have been out in their feet, and they've hit the front. It, oh. It's a really good game. Adams had to come to him. He did, the specimen. We had to force him to make a decision, try and handball over the top. And... Yeah. Umpire's just uh, giving a little bit of uh, Zach Bailey some instructions. Don't be holding. So good work there by Bailey Williams. He's out now for the doggies. He went one way, then the other. Goes out to Lockie Hunter. He looks to go further afield. He's got the player of um, Bailey Smith on. Goes over the top to him. He'll get to with inside 50. He's got a player in board. He goes in towards Shackey. He'll turn around. He'll kick a goal! He snaps and the doggies are in front! Beautiful transfer of play. Lockie Hunter to Smith to Shackey to goal. The Dogs 9-11-65. Yeah, better, better movement of the footy. As I say, it's getting a little slippery out there. You've got to keep your feet. And Bailey Dale did that. He did well. And again, Hunter Smarts. Just Hunter Smarts. He just he holds on to the footy. Good players have got time. And he always seems to find a bit of time. So the Dogs have kicked two goals in this final quarter. The smother was from Rourke Smith. It was timely for the dogs. McInerney taps it inside the 50. Dale breaks away from the Zorko tackle outside the defensive 50. Hand pass on the bounce to Hunter. At right half back, he drives it into space over the head of Bailey Smith. Run onto that. He gets to right half forward. Can go for Shackey in the pocket. The kick is wide of him. Bounces on the behind line. Shackey on the left boot. Puts it through. Had just a moment of hesitation, but he was able to finish the job. And the Bulldogs run it from one end to the other and take the lead by two points.
Who was it that was in the goal square that didn't come at Shaki to put the pressure on him to make him pop it over the top? Geez, it was good play, though, from uh, Bailey Smith getting on the outside, really challenging Dizzy Gardner. We're watching Shaki just over the top. Harris Andrews oh, taking the Marcus hat Adams. Marcus Adams. Yeah. Didn't decide to come across. He had no one else there. Needed to come and support. So, ball flung in the air. English and McInerney. McInerney thumped it another three metres inside 50. Oh, and no. Bailey Dale got it and ran. Half-back flank. Feeds it out to Harder. Hasn't got a lot on to go long to. So he floats it out in front of Bailey Smith. He waits for the bounce. He collects it. He's 50 from goal. He shorts it in the pocket. Shaki, big moment. Collects it and goals. Thought his way through that brilliantly, the Shack. Took some creativity from Bailey Smith to set it up. Could have been the wrong option, but they're on the same page. And it's a two-point game. Dogs are back in front. What a game of footy this is. Did you think the Shaq had stuffed it up? I thought the Shaq was going back into attack. (laughs) But he got it done. And just a missed tackle from Zorko allowed Bailey Dale coming out of defensive 50 to run straight through. And that was the reason. If it held up, it would have been forward forward stoppage again for the Lions. Transition play. Bailey Smith put the mullet (laughs) down. And away he went. Smacked forward by McInerney, grabbed by Bailey Daly, wall of contact, got through the tackle, emerged, had an array of options, he decided to handball, instead he went to Hunter, he kicks wide for Bailey Smith, he's got two metres on Gardner, he's got three as he peers, this is your moment Jackie, got it on the bounce, well done, he's curled it through, he's given them the lead, we didn't necessarily expect that. He owed them one. He pays them back, but it was great play up the field. It was. As they burst into space off the halfback line, they go via, via the wing. And there's the example of Harris Andrews and his inability over the last couple of weeks to move freely. He got caught in no man's land and didn't have the ability to work back and put pressure on Shaki, who had doubled back towards goal. And ultimately gets caught in no man's land. But well done by Bailey Dale off the half-back line. They broke a tackle. They created the passage of play. Harris Andrews can't go a yard no. tonight. Playing him has been a gamble. She sides are reluctant to give the handle. They wait and then they just kick that one. McInerney wins that decisively. Comes to Bailey Dale. Wriggles out of the tackle and did it well too. Handle at the Lockie Hunter is in space. He runs the wing and then kicks it into the path of Bailey Smith, who's able to collect. He looks up, runs to the paint of 50, goes to the pocket. shaki has got it on the bounce, turns around, kicks and goals! Josh Shaki kicks the goal for the Western Bulldogs. And they booted the last three. And with that, they take the lead at the Gabba in this cutthroat final. It's Josh Shaki, the former Lion. They go to 9-11-65. Brisbane 9-9-63 on the Dan Murphy scoreboard. Here's Lee Matthews on 3W Football. Most of the goals have come from exactly that kind of play where one team wins the ball at half-back and is able to just then play on and actually get the uh, the opposition defence out of position. The Lions did that to the Bulldogs a lot in the first quarter for their three or four goals, but I think it was Bailey Dale was the one who held onto the ball, shook the tackle and then through Hunter and then over the top and eventually Shaki... Uh, got behind uh, Harris Andrews, his direct opponent, and a nice uh, snap for a goal. So uh, that, was, uh, that was good flow from the Bulldogs. Haven't been able to do that that much tonight. For the winning side here tonight against Port Adelaide, and they're both right in it. Early stages, final term. Look at Bailey Dale. Spin out of a tackle at halfback for the Bulldogs. Hand pass to Hunter. He's on the wing broadcast side. 35-metre drop punt into the path of Bailey Smith. 60 out. Picks it up. Runs to 50. Could have gone all the way. Was looking for Shaki. Shaki keeps it alive. Turn step. Got it. Dogs are in front. Dogs up by two points. Shaki kicks the goal. Somehow kept it alive. 
and the Western Bulldogs by two points early in the last quarter. And there was the running ability that we were talking about. It was Bailey Smith that put about 10 metres on Darcy Gardner, could not go with him, and then Shaki was able to get some separation off Harris Andrews. That's the run that it looks like at the start of this last quarter. We're seeing the dogs get over the top of the Brisbane Lions. Triple M Red Z, Bontempelli, 28 disposals. That's a PB for him in terms of finals. This is final number nine. Gardner and Andrews look like they had concrete yeah. in their legs. They, they 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 seriously look slow in that passage of play, which is far too... Yeah, Gardner yeah. chasing Smith was just uh, looking at the Harvey Norman. And, and then look at Harris Andrews. I mean, Harris Andrews is just... He wanted someone to, he wanted someone to bail him out and asleep. come forward. Yeah. The Bulldogs have hit the front. Two-point leaders on the Beacon Trade scoreboard.